Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Perfect Edition Comics. I'm your host, Perfect. And today, we're going to take a look at new manga releases for December 2020. Let's do this thing. First up, we've got Viz. We're going to kick it off with the horror master Ito Junji and his new hardcover called Remina. Don't know too much about this, but uh, yeah, Ito is the master of uh, horror manga, so I don't think you can go too wrong with this. This will be in shops around uh, the middle of December, going for around the retail price of $23. Next, we got a big box set. I actually think I mentioned this last month, but the dates have been pushed off, and this gives me a, a good time to remind everybody that yeah, shipping dates are weird right now. Sometimes things are appearing earlier than you might see in previews and other areas. Um, and at other times, they're coming a month or even two months later or, or not at all and being postponed. So obviously with uh, coronavirus and everything going on around that, uh, shipping chaos and everything else, printing chaos, yeah, it's very hard to kind of carefully predict exactly when releases will come. But hopefully most of the stuff I'm talking about here will be released in December but I would just check with your local shop uh, or online wherever you shop just to make sure. So to get back to things, we've got Tokyo Ghoul Re. This is the complete box set. It includes all 16 volumes of the original uh, Tokyo, Ghoul Re series, Tokyo Ghoul Re series, as well as a double-sided poster that comes with the box set as well. This will be in stores the first week of December, going for around the retail price of $170. Next up, we got the Perfect Edition Pick of the Month. And of course, I was forced to pick this because it's a perfect edition version of 20th Century Boys. Um, but really, this is one of the best manga you can ever read. Highly, highly recommended. I don't want to say too much about it to spoil anything. But really, if you like manga, pick this up. You will not be disappointed. These perfect editions are also beautiful. It's a two-in-one edition. It's got a French flaps and an almost hard soft cover um, feel to it really beautifully done, some color pages thrown in there as well. This is the 10th volume. I think there's going to be one more with the follow-up uh, to Tankabon series, which was 21st Century Boys. I believe that'll be volume 11, and then this will be over. This comes middle of December. Hopefully the 11th volume then will come January or Feb next year, and then we'll be done with this run. This goes for a retail price of around 20 US dollars. Next, we've got a very similar bound collector's edition. And actually looking at these two in person, I can tell you that they're basically the same printing process and treatment. So here it's a collector's edition, whereas for the last volume of 20th Century Boys, it was a perfect edition. But to me, they're basically the same print quality, same binding. So this is Maison and Koku. This is the second uh, version of this, or the second volume. And this is also a two-in-one edition. And this also comes out middle of December for around $25 retail price. Then we have the very, very popular, although only uh, with one volume released in English so, so far, Chainsaw Man. This will be volume two. This comes out the 2nd of December and goes for a retail price of $10. Yeah, if you're, if you're into this, then uh, you, you probably have been left on a cliffhanger waiting for the second volume. So you can pick that up in December. That's the good news. Next up, we got Jujutsu Kaisen. This is volume 7. Uh, a lot of people watching the anime for this have maybe been led to get into the source material of the manga. This comes out on December the 2nd for a retail price of $10. Then we've got another favorite winding towards its end. I believe it's in the low 20s when it ends, the low 20 volumes, maybe 21 or 22. I haven't actually checked recently. But this is, of course, Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. And this is the 19th volume coming out in the first week of December for a retail price of around $10. Then we have another, another favorite. This is Comic Con Communicate. This is volume 10. This also comes out in that, uh, actually in the second week of December, December 9th, and also goes for $10. A little bit of a different vibe to what we've been seeing so far, but if you're into some humor and um, shoujo, then you should pick this up. Next, we have something else which is humorous and doing really well, and this is Spy X Family. This is the third volume, which comes out on the 2nd of December, also going for $10. Then we have something a little bit different and a little bit new. This is Super Mario Bros. Manga Mania. So this is a short story compilation inspired by the hit video games. I believe it was released in Japan, but has never ever been translated into English until now. 
So if you're a fan of Mario and a fan of manga, then this is kind of two worlds that collide in perfection for you. I hope perfection. And this comes out December 9th for $10. Next we have Golden Kamui Volume 19 by Noda Senpai. And this is something that I really, really enjoy. I'm looking forward to grabbing the latest volume. This is middle of December. This comes out the 16th and this goes for $13 suggested retail price. Then something that no one's ever heard of and uh, some of you uh, might be interested in picking this up and finding out what it's about. Very uh, unknown manga, something on the edge that will probably get you lots of street cred if you pick it up and try to look like you jumped on it first. This is One Piece and oh, One Piece. Okay, anyway, One Piece, yeah, volume 95, only five away from 100. It's still going. This is the Wano arc. Yeah, what can you say? Oda Sensei doing his thing. December 2nd, $10.00 grab it, you know what to do. Okay, let's take a look at what Kodansha has for us. First of all, we got Rent Girlfriend Volume 4, and it's mentioned here in the blurb that the anime is coming July 2020. You can rent a girlfriend, but can you buy love? I think that says it all. If you're into rom-coms and if you enjoy this kind of thing, then you're probably already on this. Fourth volume comes out December 9th for $13. Next, we've got something which is getting a lot of hype around uh, a topic which we don't see too much in manga. This is kind of classical art that this focuses on, and this is Blue Period, of course, in the second volume. It's won a Manga Taisho Grand Prize Award. It's gotten great, great reviews and recommendations uh, from the first volume that's been translated, so it'll be interesting to see if it carries on uh, kind of living up to the hype in volume two. Comes out December 9th, also for $13. Then we have uh, Beyond the Clouds Volume 3. This is a Studio Ghibli style throwback, apparently one part Final Fantasy and one part Studio Ghibli. Um, yeah, it's, it's something that looks really, really pretty. I haven't read it myself, but it's fantasy world and stunning art. So yeah, if that's your vibe, then on December 9th for $13, Volume 3 can be yours. Staying on that kind of fantasy vibe, we've got Eden Zero Volume 10. This is by Mashima Hiro. This is the same uh, manga car that did Fairy Tale, but this time based in space. And apparently, with a line like this, you can't go wrong. All the steadfast friendship, crazy fighting, and blue cats you come to expect in space. I think that blurb says it all. This is at the end of December, coming for $11. Then we got Fire Force Volume 21. Uh, this is Akubo Senpai, Senpai doing this. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an anime which you might be watching. It's um, also a hit manga, so if this is your vibe, then you can pick up volume 21 in the middle of December for around $11. Next, we've got Welcome to the Ballroom, volume 11. A little bit of a twist, something a little bit different, um, but I also know a lot of people really enjoy this. Uh, this comes out sometime in December, I believe, but there hasn't actually been a date thrown out yet, and this also goes for around $13. Then staying with the uh, kind of Studio Ghibli mixed in with beautiful art, we have uh, Witch Hat Atelier, which comes to volume 7, and that comes uh, at the end of December for around $13. Yeah, um, I've heard lots about this, haven't read it myself, seen lots of the art. It looks stunning. Not really my vibe with the whole magical girl thing going on, or magicians and magic that much, but uh, I might be tempted by the art alone on this one. Then we have uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. We're up to volume 15 already. This is one of the weird isekai mixed with RPGs that actually really kind of sparked my interest just because of the complete weirdness of it and uh, going for something a little offbeat, which, which kind of caught my interest. Still really need to get into this though. This comes out apparently um, in December, even though it says November, and should be going for around uh, $13. Then we got a new book um, of which volume one should be coming out in December, also alongside volume two. Um, it was supposed to be volume one last, last month, but now apparently it's coming out this month as well. This is Life Lessons with Urumichi Onisan, and this will be volume one and two, as I said. Um, the blurb on this is pretty interesting. How did a cynical Urumachi end up hosting a TV show for small children? And how long is the studio going to let him keep teaching the kids the sorrow and exhaustion of life instead of, say, the ABCs. This dark comedy manga started as a webcomic 
and became a best-selling across Japan, uh, became a bestseller across Japan with the anime coming soon. So if that's your jam, check it out. Volumes one and two should be coming out in December. Uh, pretty pricey though. They go for around eighteen dollars retail price. Next up, we got another manga that not many people are into have heard of. This is Attack on Titan, volume thirty-two, coming to the end of this. So uh, yeah, pick it up in shops twenty-second uh, of December for thirteen ninety-nine. Uh, twelve ninety-nine. Sorry. Let's take a look at what Seven Seas has for us. So the first thing sailing on the Seven Seas is how many light years to Babylon. So this is a standalone, I believe, self-contained manga. I'm not going to try, try and pronounce the name of the mangaka, but uh, the, the premise is quite interesting. Uh, I'll read it for you. It basically says, Follow the tale of an earthling determined to find out why his home planet was destroyed while sleeping with as many alien girls as possible. Well, I think that says it all. This will be in shops first week of December for $13. Then we got another new um, number one coming out. This is Kingdoms of Ruin, Volume 1. It's a fantasy revenge thriller. I don't know much more than that. You can always pause the video here and read through this for yourself if you're interested. Also comes out first week of December for $12.99. Another number one and staying on the theme of fantasy and isekai. This is a new isekai called Sorcerer King and Golem of Barbarian Queen, Volume 1. Another big mouthful isekai title. Uh, this one comes out December the 23rd and goes for $12.99. And because the world can never have too much isekai, here's another number one in the same genre. And this is Saint's Magic is Omnipotent Volume 1. A charming isekai tale about a woman's magical entrepreneurship in a fantasy world. Say a 20-year-old office worker is whisked away to a whole new world. Well, we've never heard that one before, but hey, maybe this will be the isekai that breaks the mold and does something good. But if this is a genre you enjoy, well, there's another number one you can try out. This will be in shops December 9th and goes for $12.99. Then something which reminded me uh, of a kind of modern classic uh, in many people's minds, Saints Young Men, which talks about Buddha and Jesus living together. This is Satoko Anara and this is volume 4. I'll read a bit of the premise just to give you a vibe for what's going on here. Satoko, who is Japanese, has a new roommate in America, a Saudi Arabian woman named Nara, who practices Islam and wears a hijab. While under the same roof, Satoko and Nara learn how to live together with, a very different with their very different customs and still have all the fun young women crave. So this is something quite different, uh, sounds a little bit out there, so it could be really good and, and really interesting just to give this one a try. Again, this is volume four, so you might want to pick up the first three if this sounds interesting to you. This should be out at the end of December for $12.99. Then we've got a cooking light novel. The reason why I threw the light novel in was because I'm a bit of a fan of different cooking and restaurant based man manga. This is Restaurant to Another World Light Novel, volume four, and this comes out end of December for $13.99. Let's take a look at what Yen Press has for us. So we got Sword Art Online, the Platinum Collector's Edition hardcover box set. What's in here is very interesting. It looks like it covers uh, all 20 volumes of Sword Art Online. Uh, it also includes prints, exclusive prints, as well as post as poster, or maybe some posters. Hard to tell from this image. But yeah, it looks pretty oversized. Looks like it'll be pretty epic. So if Sword Art Online is your thing, you can pick this up towards the end of December on the 23rd. And this goes for a suggested retail price of $200. So it'll be a big boy, but if you're a fan, it looks like it'll be worth it. Then we have uh, the ongoing uh, series Goblin Slayer. This is volume 9. This comes out in the middle of December, going for around $13. Another ongoing is Bungo Stray Dogs. Uh, this is volume 17 already. And this comes out at the end of December, also going for $13. Let's see what Vertical has for us. First of all, we got uh, Bakamonogatari, this is volume 6, and this is by the legendary uh, mangaka Ogreto, he just does the art, and then we have Nisiosin on um, the writing as well, and um, yeah, uh, I think a lot of people already know about this, and uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be doing really well. So this will be in the second week of December on the 9th, and goes for 12 dollars 
Next, we got a classic uh, anime that many people have watched, and there's also been the manga. This is a continuation of that. I believe there's also novels in this as well, or novels about this as well. This is Kino's Journey, and this is Beautiful World Volume 7. This comes out middle of December and goes for $12.95. Then we have Witchcraft Works. This is Volume 14. Um, this is based on the anime series, which you might have seen. Kind of a romantic comedy mixed in with magic and supernatural uh, elements within it as well. This is listed as November, but it's uh, actually going to be coming out in December, I believe, and goes for $12.95. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, stay perfect. See ya.